Hello viewers, as you can tell today we're not doing our usual review because we're not in the middle of a street. But today we're going to talk about something very important, that is engines. Engines form the heart of any new car. And so when they come imbued with new technology and new engineering innovations, it's very important to fully understand just what goes into a new engine, what makes them tick and what makes them so much better than the ones that they replace. And so when you're talking about a company that's on a growth path like Proton, these new engines form the heart of next generation products and will give us a preview of just what we can expect with new generation models as and when they arrive. And so with Proton General C today, we are going to take a tour of their new engine plant, which produces the 1.5 TGDI engine currently used in the Proton X50 and Proton X70 and perhaps for other models too. My name is Ayman Ay Abdullah, this is Malaysian Motoring. This is our video tour of the new Proton engine factory here in Tanjung Malim. Okay, we've just concluded our tour of the plant here in Tanjung Malim, where we got to take a look at just how Proton builds the 1.5 turbo gasoline direct injection engine. Now, for those of you in the know, the 1.5 TGDI engine is indeed part of the larger Geely Volvo family and it represents one of the most high-tech, high-engineered and most compliant, standard compliant engines currently in the Geely range. Because of its modularity, it means that it can be applied in various different uses, including hybrid, plug-in hybrid and other electrified applications. On top of that, because Proton produces these engines locally, it means that there is proper knowledge transfer from Geely to Malaysia. It also means that it involves more of a local workforce and local labour and local expertise in order to make this plant run as smoothly as it does. Now, this plant at full capacity can produce up to 180,000 engines a year and has a QC process that is adherent to international standards, which means Proton is not just making engines for Malaysia, but Proton is capable of making engines for the world. Now, this is all part and all in line with Geely's strategy as part of its joint venture with Proton here locally, which means that more Malaysians will be involved in this process. Now, as you know, the Tanjung Malim facility is indeed a large one, which means there is certainly more room for growth. Whether or not that means more production lines, a new engine facility, or the possibility of assembling non-Proton models here in Proton Tanjung Malim, we'll just have to wait and see. What we do know is that Proton will be sticking to its guns and introducing three new models between 2022 and 2023. Two of those models will use the 1.5 TGDI engine as well, the third one might not. And Proton will not tell us what that is. Proton has also today revealed that it does have an electrification strategy in place, with a potential EV coming within the next 24 months. So it'll be certainly very exciting to see how that occurs. And maybe we'll be brought back here for an electric powertrain manufacturing facility tour, if they have one, which we don't know because we weren't allowed to film or really look out of the bus. In any case, that has been a very quick tour of Proton's new 1.5 TGDI engine facility here at the Proton campus in Tanjung Malim. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell icon so you're notified every time we make a new upload. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. All the links are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Take care, stay safe.